The world, of course, has been consumed by the COVID-19 pandemic, but this is not the first pandemic to decimate the world. And I'm not talking about the Spanish flu of 1918. Turns out there was another, often forgotten, pandemic back in the 1960s. As Amber Cagliano explains, it was called the Hong Kong flu. Did you know there was a previous pandemic in our lifetime? The year was 1968. Soldiers returning from Vietnam brought home the Hong Kong flu. The similarities to our current plight are striking. A total of 100,000 people lost their lives to the Hong Kong flu in America alone. We're now nearing the same sad milestone today with COVID-19. Some of the most powerful people in the world have been hit with COVID-19, and it has penetrated the president's inner circle. My fellow Americans. In 1968, the Hong Kong flu struck President Lyndon Johnson. He'd said it was the worst he ever felt in his life. Famed NASA astronaut Frank Borman was also stricken as he orbited the moon on Apollo 8. God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. But there are major differences between the two pandemics. During this crisis, we get constant updates on our smartphones and from 24-hour news sources. Back then, it was mostly limited to daily papers and network evening newscasts. Information did not flow as quickly as it does today. People weren't aware back then that it was a pandemic. Jim Poling was hit with the Hong Kong flu when he was 25 and living in New York City. Then, as now, the city was the epicenter of the pandemic in America. He wrote a book about it called Killer Flu. It's the sickest I've ever been in my life. I thought I was going to die and I was young. Today, we are in lockdown. Businesses are shuttered. Stadiums are empty. Unemployment is at historic highs. Not so during the Hong Kong flu pandemic. That's right, the legendary Woodstock Music Festival took place on the tail end of the pandemic in 1969. And talk about no social distancing. Having now lived through his second worldwide pandemic, Jim Poling says he knows one thing for sure. This is going to happen again. 